Herbert showed a side of him that we hadn't seen all season long, racking up more yards on his five design rushes than he had over the first 13 games of the season combined. He hadn't scored a touchdown on a design rush since the 2018 season over against Bowling Green prior to last night. So it was fun to see him run the ball. Today. Let's put Justin Herbert into some perspective. An hour ago, we talked about Tua Tango Vailoa, who might go back to school. Justin Herbert, a year ago, could have come out yeah. and would have been a first-round pick for sure. Yes, and he went back to school. Has he helped his case as far as the NFL is concerned? I think he's helped it a little bit, but probably not as much as he thought that he would. And it all goes back to that first game of the year against Auburn that they lost. And everyone said, well, he can't win the big game. And it ended up being Bo Nix, the freshman on the Auburn side, that won that game. I think last night he might have helped himself a little bit. Just seeing him run the ball was fun. You could see his heart, his toughness. But I think what helps him the most is if Tua Tungavailoa actually does decide to go back to school, Greeny. Shafi, what are you hearing about Herbert as far as the NFL is concerned? Had he come out last year? He would have been a top 10 pick guaranteed. Yeah. Guaranteed. And now I still think teams are viewing him with respect. They like him. I still think he's a first round pick. I don't know if he goes quite as high as last year, but I think he's still going to be a high pick in the I mean, I think that's interesting because part of that reason I think might be because people don't, not as many teams need quarterbacks because I think the, the draft this year is light on quarterbacks. So it's wise to, for him to stay and come out this year because there are fewer competitive quarterbacks, but there's still only 32 jobs. And if a bunch of them filled up last year with rookie quarterbacks that they're unsure about, I'm not sure that Justin Herbert's in a great position right now because he's not blowing anybody away with his performance and the, and the league is not bereft of young quarterback talent. Yeah, I didn't mean to give the impression that he's not going to go high. Yeah. I guess what I'm saying is he's the kind of guy teams are going to talk themselves into falling in love Absolutely. with right when he gets to the combo. He's got all the intangibles that teams are going to love. They're all going to love that. But what's interesting here also is that usually teams sometimes address their needs for quarterback in free agency if they can. There's never a great amount of quarterbacks. But this year we have a free agent quarterback class that is the most decorated free agent right. quarterback class ever. I'm not telling any of these guys are leaving. I'm not telling any of these guys are moving on. But Tom Brady's contract's up. He's a free agent. Philip Rivers' contract up. He's a free agent. Drew Brees' contract up. He's a free agent. Teddy Bridgewater's contract's up. He's a free agent. Jameis Winston's contract's up. Then, he's a free agent. And then we also got guys who are likely to be traded. Like, I assume that Cincinnati wants to move on from Dalton and Carolina wants to move on from Cam. I wouldn't say Carolina wants to move on from Cam. Okay. I wouldn't say that. Sorry, Dalton guys. Is. Yep. <laughs> he knows more than that. Listen. <laughs> Herbert's going to look coaches. the part, though, at the combine. He, people are going to like how he looks at the combine. I think it's the footwork and maybe some errant throws that he's had. But he'll look prettier than maybe an old Tom Brady. Anyway. <laughs> Maybe. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.